Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. I'm on that field where I found that 9th century Anglo-Saxon strap end. Just over there. We're near quite a busy road, so you're going to hear a bit of traffic, unfortunately. And also there's a yip yip yappy dog just over the road. Okay, I'm going to use Gary's Ultimate. I'm going to knock the kilohertz down to about 11-ish because the ground's a bit compact and I'm just going to go over and see what I can find. For those who are new to the dais, I'll be sprinkling some tips every now and again, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining me, and let's get kitted up and crack into it and see what we can find. And once again, to my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter, a huge, huge bucket full of thank yous, and your names will be scrolling from bottom to top at the end of the video. Thanks so much. I'm very grateful for your support. Okay, here we are. It's, uh, as I said, the field. I found the 9th century Anglo-Saxon strap end. Just about there, the end of the spade. I decided to bring my little spade, my mini spade, because I think I'll be able to get in Turks because we had a couple of days of good rain. So I'm on Gary's Ultimate. Thanks, Gary. And I've knocked the it's down about 11.6 I think we're gonna have a little wander and see what we can find and if I find anything you'll be the first to know okay first signal not too far away from the truck I think I'm near some sort of boarding kennel so um, apart from the road we've got to put up a yappy dog so anyway um, I'm gonna risk it for a twisker and go for a live dig I've got a nice Sort of 70, 72. Which is just there. So my little spade, I'm hoping it'll work. But <laughs> the blade's bending. So bear with me, I'll go and get the other spade. Oh, I should have known better to rely on my mini spade. Anyway. Sort of around the 70, just there. And it is hard. I'll get through with a big spade. My Jiminy, it's a hard one. Oh dear. A lot of rain, but still fairly hard underneath an inch or two crust. And we'll just go over this again. So it's out. Uh, still showing 72. Um, not sure what it is or what it's going to be. It's in here. So what we're going to do first dig? Are we lucky? Or we're going to get trash. Still in here. Oh, it's round. It's a ring. <laughs> Not quite sure if it's a like a finger ring or what. It looks thin enough to be a finger ring, actually. Well, I'm not sure. Well, there we are. That little ring. Just about well, four paces away. We've got a seventy. Uh, don't know really. Nothing much. I wouldn't imagine it's uh, got nobbles on. But I think it's just a random piece of scrap. There's nothing on the back. Unless you know otherwise. Right, another 70, 68, 70. In here somewhere. Oops. I like nearly threw the wrong bit away. And I just think it's random. A bit of random lead. There you go. The randomness. Right, I like six signals in a matter of about ten yards. This was really quite a rubby signal uh, until I dug it out, and then it's come up to a or come down to a 62. It's very faint. I started and I thought just for the heck of it I'll give it a dig. So 
you never know. Oh, look. You see that there? It's probably almost certainly going to be a button. Yep, looks like a button. A little decorative button. It's got something on the front and I can just feel there's a squashed I like the back there. That, that's quite thin and light. And there is some decoration on there. Whew, not for one heck of a lot really. Uh, run about 10 inch of stubble so you lost that depth to start with but I'm still on Gary's ultimate uh, at 11.6 kilohertz and I got this cracking signal which has given me an 87 I haven't picked it out of clod yet but I can see it as you can probably as well it's in there so what do you reckon guys coin or a button I can't feel a, an eye at the back, so it's going to be a coin. It's pretty beat up and worn. I can just about make a head. Just about make a head on that, I think. But anything else at this stage of the game, in the middle of a field, where a <laughs> magnifying glass is going to be no go. So it's coin. It's unreadable at the moment but there's a head on it. Uh, got a, I think it's a 65, 67, that's 66, 65 in there. In that there. Clod, now this will weigh us up and if I take the bottom off are we going to be lucky enough to have it in the bottom? Nope. A bit further up. Nope, a bit further up again. Nope, it's going to be reasonably at the top, look. It's all falling a bit something there. Sounds like it's in there. What's in here, so, oops, there you go, look. It's a teeny tiny button. Tiny button of nothingness. I must stop saying that because it's someone else's catchphrase and I'll get into trouble. Well, I Chris. Right, there's a small button with uh, with eye intact. By night, yeah, it's we bother. <laughs> I'm cheating, I'm going on the areas where there's low stubble. Because it's a real job when there's 10 inches of stubble to go through. It's in there somewhere, it's coming up 88. From what I've been getting, I've got no hope of being anything interesting. What's that? Yeah, another round thing, look. So you reckon coin or button? Oh, I reckon coin. It's got an edge to it. Oh, right, that's a coin. Could it be a farthing? I'll just give it a spritz. I'll be right back. Back in the room. Well, it's a George. On one side, you've got a Britannia on the other, and it's a half penny. A 1935 half penny. Now I know that because I took a photo and blew it up. I couldn't see it. They even with bins on. So there we are. Just a little half penny, but it's a second coin. It's an 82, I think. There's an 82 in there. It's 
still in there. In there, it's gonna be late. Oh, it's another round thing. It's a button, another little baby button. All intact, and I assume it'll be smooth. The baby's bottom. Yep, nothing like that at all. So, as a smooth as the baby's bottom, a button. And I'll just show you what little I found, just so you can see it. There you go, it's showing me a scrap. Uh, little lead bullet on the right. Uh, it's a little bit of something with dots on and just lead and a bit of metal. That there is me, me booty. <laughs> you can just call it like that. And there's, a, there's a tiny little ring, three buttons, and that'll be the uh, George. 1935 half penny if the camera ever focuses into it. That there is the kind of random nothingness and I'll try and stop that. And top left, it's a button, it's very light, it's got some raised bits on it which I've assumed is some sort of decoration but that's about lot. That's about my lot. You have days like this and you have better days. Well folks, that was uh, a whole lot, whole lot of rosy, not a heck of a lot. A couple of coins, a uh, George 1935 half penny, which is in quite good nick actually, and one with a very worn head on it, which I can't identify, and just uh, buttons really. So it's been good. It's been a good day. It's a bit of a struggle when you've got about 10 inches of a 10 inches of stubble. It does make life a weeny bit difficult. Thanks for coming with me. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's not been uber. Are productive thanks very much if you haven't please subscribe and click the bell for future notifications of videos and the wednesday live stream and we'll see you again next time